songs of angels rise through dark and troubled skies the sound of glory bringing tidings of great joy no sorrow can destroy salvation story
creation story to Welcome this morning to our worship on this 27th of December, the first Sunday after Christmas. It is good um, to gather together this Sunday. So I hope that you all have had a really exciting Christmas, that you've been able to still enjoy some time with family, whether that's on a video call or just over the phone, or maybe you were able to see some family in person. But we hope that you have had a safe and a joyful Christmas. My name is David and I'm one of the team here at the First Parishes. And it's great to be this morning um, coming to you from St. Lawrence. Um, it's a little cold at the moment, um, but otherwise it's a, a nice, fresh, wintry day as we head towards the new year now at full pace. But this morning we are continue to celebrate the good news which we have received at Christmas. And although we have now transitioned out of Advent and into the Christmas season, um, we're we're going to light our Advent wreath for one final time and light our Christmas candle as a reminder for us this morning that Jesus is the light of the world, the light that no darkness can quench. We're going well so far. Here we go.
So we've had our time of waiting through Advent. We got ourselves ready as we built up to Christmas morning. And then we've had our joyful celebration as we have celebrated God coming into the world through the Christ child. So may our candles this morning be a point of reflection for us as we remember that Jesus Christ is that light of the world the light which no darkness can quench. So will you pray with me this morning? Christ has brought us out of darkness to live in his marvellous light. Brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome this morning. We have come together in the presence of God, our Father, to rejoice in the gift of Jesus as the light of the world, to hear and receive the story and message of the coming of Christ and to offer to God our thanksgiving in prayer and song. And the collect prayer for this morning as we join our prayers together with the church around the world. God in Trinity, eternal unity of perfect love, gather the nations to be one family and draw us to your eternal holy life through the birth of Emmanuel, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So now will you join us this morning as we sing our first carol, Once in Royal David City. reading this morning comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 15 to 21. Alleluia, alleluia, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Alleluia. 
When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. After eight days had passed, it was time to circumcise the child and he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How were your Christmas celebrations? I expect and know that for many of us, it was quite different from maybe what we had expected in the build-up to Christmas. And I wonder, as we look back on 2020, where in the difference, the grief and the pain of this year, where maybe we have seen God at work, where have we seen his peace, joy, love and care? Maybe one example is in our Thursday evenings together during the summer, on our doorsteps clapping for our key workers. Maybe in our community joy at VE Day celebrations out in our front gardens. Or maybe we've seen it through those in our communities who have gone the extra mile this year to help those in need, to help make their communities good places to be during these hard times. And I wonder maybe where in your life you have seen God at work. I wonder what God has been doing in you this year, how he's been shaping you, forming you, preparing you. I wonder what stood out for you. Kind of amongst the difference and change and disruption of our lives, we've had to learn how to do things in a different way, haven't we? Had to learn how to do new things. We've had to rethink how do we do church together? How do we do community together? How do we see our friends and family? What do we even take with us when we leave the house? Kind of, we, wouldn't now, we now don't leave the house without a face mask, do we? We had to think about how we treat each other, how we leave extra space for people around us, how we are maybe a bit extra cautious around those who are more vulnerable. Maybe we've had to learn how to cut hair. I think that's definitely been a good experience, well, an experience at least for me this year, um, learning how to cut hair. Although the one time that I did it myself, I don't think it turned out too badly. We have to, we've had to learn and to change a lot this year. And people keep on asking maybe when will we get back to normal? And I don't think that we will ever have normal as we have known it. I think this experience has changed us and it has to change us. And it is still changing us as it goes on. And Mary and Joseph, their lives were never going to be the same again with the birth of Jesus. The shepherds and their encounter with the angels and the newborn Jesus, that changed them forever. The wise men who are on their way, they are about to be changed forever. So I wonder, how will we allow Jesus to change us in 2021? Are we expectant that God wants to be at work in our lives, even in the midst of the current pandemic? Will we make space for Jesus in our new normal? Are we ready to allow ourselves to be changed by him, the one who came to save us and who will go on to give all that he has for us? At Christmas, in the midst of everything, hope arrived. And now we live in that hope through all things, even a pandemic. And as followers of Jesus, we are bearers of hope. We are bearers of that hope that we have received at Christmas. A hope which is for all people at all time and in all places. 
That means here in Carlton Miniot, in Fursk, in St Hutton, in South Kilvington, in North Yorkshire, in England, in the United Kingdom, in, our, in Europe, in the world. At all times, during a pandemic and out of a pandemic, in all seasons, when it's cold enough to see our breath and when it's warm enough to be in shorts. It is a message for all times and all people in all places. And we are the bearers of that hope along with the church around the world. So in our new normal for 2021, let's be a community who are expectant to see God at work who are people through our own lived experiences of life and this pandemic, both the good and the bad, who are bearers of that hope that we have found in Jesus. I think that's certainly a challenge for us all as we go into 2021, isn't it? Where are we expected that God will be at work? And how can we be the bearers of hope to the rest of our communities, our friends and families, as we enter into this next year. So I hope and pray that you have all had a safe and a happy Christmas, and that together we can look expectantly at the year to come through the lens of hope that pierces even the darkest night. Because the hope that we have found in Jesus pierces all darkness and shines his light into all places. I pray that you will know that hope going into this next year. Amen. We're now going to go into a time of prayer together. And the response this morning is, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, will you please respond with, hear our prayer. And when we're doing that, all we're saying is that, God, I think these are good things, and I agree with them, and I want you to, I want to hold them before you this morning. So let us pray to our incarnate Lord, who has brought us out of darkness and into his own marvellous light. Christ, born for us, Son of God, given for us, Help us to know you, to worship and to serve you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Wonderful Counselor, you ordered all things with your wisdom. Help the church to reveal the mystery of your love and fill her with the spirit of truth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Mighty God, the government is on your shoulders. Guide the leaders of the nation and bring in your kingdom of justice and righteousness. We pray at this time, Lord, that you will give wisdom to all world leaders as they continue to combat the global health pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Everlasting Father, you call us to live together in unity. Protect by your mercy all your children. Bless our families and renew our communities here in Carlton Miniot, in Thirsk, in South Kilvington and St. Hudson. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Prince of Peace, you bring reconciliation through the cross. By your healing power, give to all who suffer your gift of wholeness and peace. And we lift before you now and those known to, to us in our hearts and minds who are in need of God's healing presence this morning. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, full of the Spirit, hear our prayer, receive our praises, and fill our lives. 
Amen. So now let us join all of our prayers together with the prayer that Jesus taught us. So together we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So now we're going to join in our final song together this morning. Jesus shall take the highest honour. take the highest praise. Let all the earth join heaven in exalting. Name which is above all other names. Let's bow the knee in humble adoration. For at his name every knee must bow. Let every tongue confess He is Christ, God's only Son. Sovereign Lord, we give you glory now for all honor and blessing and power belongs to you, belongs to you, all honor and blessing. Christ, Son of the living God. So I pray that as we enter into 2021, that Jesus will take the highest honour in our lives, that we will be expectant of him to be at work and that we will be bearers of the hope that we have received this Christmas. So a blessing as we go. So may the Lord bless you and watch over you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look kindly on you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you and all whom you love this day and always. Amen. So we, as we enter into the new year, we're going to be continuing in our, the pattern that we have established of online worship over this last year as we await and see how the changing, um, changing tier system comes into effect. Um, but we are hopeful that we will still be able to continue worship in some shape or form, no matter what um, tier we may end up going into. But you can keep up to date with all that's going on at the moment um, via the church website and the Facebook page. We try and post there regularly with updates of what's going on. It might be a little bit quieter over the Christmas period while um, the staff team rotate, um, having some annual leave. Um, but there will always be one of us around um, who you can get hold of. Um, in the next week, Jill is going to be around. So if you need to get hold of a member of the team, then please do give Jill a ring or drop her an email. A uh, date for your diary at the end of January, the final Tuesday, um, we're going to start resuming our prayer meeting um, together again. And that's on the notice slides as well. And we'll begin to resume more of our usual activities, such as small groups, as we enter into the new year. So do watch out for a message from your small group leader as to when your small group might be restarting. And if you'd like to join a small group now, is the prime opportunity um, to express an interest and we'd love to um, connect you with a group. So take care and God bless and we hope that you have a very happy new year this week and we'll look forward to seeing you again next Sunday in person or online at 10.15. So take care and God bless. Hear the 
songs of angels rise through dark and troubled skies the sound of glory bringing tidings of great joy no sorrow can destroy salvation story to Glad. 